Hey everyone, and welcome to the Beyond Life and Fitness Podcast. I'm Cheryl Patton. And I'm Megan Prince. We started this podcast as a way to connect with more people who are struggling to fit it all in. The workouts, the food, kids, work, and relationships. We know that we're not perfect, but we hope that through our struggles and our mistakes and our failures and our successes that we can help more people through their challenges and be successful. So if you want some tips and tricks to help you along your journey to be the best version of yourself, then this is it. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another podcast. I am flying solo again today, so this is gonna be a nice, quick little life bite, and I thought I would chat about burnout today. Since it's something that I've been experiencing over the last few weeks, just personally, a little bit of burnout, a little bit of overwhelm with doing a 12-week course that's just upgrading my knowledge in regards to nutrition so that I can just help and serve my clients a lot better, but it can be a lot of a lot of information overload and there's people in the group that are definitely further ahead of me in terms of experience and so it can i can get that whole sense of just oh my goodness why why am i doing this i don't i shouldn't be doing this i'm not smart enough to do this and then you just go down that rabbit hole spiral so i thought i would chat about about burnout today and just that whole feeling of overwhelm because I'm sure I'm not the only one that experiences this. And what I've been learning is that burnout is a result of our conditioning. It's our behaviors and habits from going through life's stressful moments or situations. And it's these habits and behaviors that lead to us feeling overwhelmed and burnt out. And I'm gonna chat about five different behaviors and habits from our conditioning that lead into us feeling burnt out and overwhelmed. And just as a disclaimer, I am guilty of all five. And I still am guilty of all five. It's something that I am continuously always working on. The main thing is that I'm aware of it. So as soon as one of these five behaviors or habits kind of pops up, I'm like, okay, I know what's going on, I need to just take a step back, kind of rethink the situation and keep moving forward. So the first one I'm gonna chat about is the need to prove yourself. This is where you have that constant urge just to prove yourself. And again, this can work really well for you at the very beginning of your career or owning your own business or just being in the same line of work as maybe some friends of yours. But at the root level, the need to prove yourself is basically built upon insecurity and that constant feeling that you're just not good enough and that you might get found out or you might be seen as an imposter in that particular line of work or your field and that feeling of just being insecure in your job or even your relationships. It could apply to many different things. So no matter how skilled you might become in your career, in owning your business, you're always gonna feel this need or urge to be constantly trying to prove yourself. The second one is the human doing. So the human doing is where you need to simply justify your existence by always being useful or needed or valuable. You only feel like you have worth if you're doing something useful. If you're not doing something, then you see yourself as being lazy or you see yourself as even being useless. So you can't stop right? You have to be constantly keeping yourself busy. The third one is completion addiction. This is where you can't ever allow yourself to relax. You can't allow yourself to be fully present and you're just not allowing yourself to live life and watch it unfold in a really at peace way, right? All you see are all the to-do lists that need to be completed, all the answered questions that need to get answered, all the unfinished business 
that needs to get finished, all the problems that simply just that need to get solved. So you can never switch off or stop thinking about a problem or some kind of unfinished business until you have closure, until it's done, it's over, it's finished, it's complete. But even if there's nothing more for you to do, there's no more action that you need to take, no more decisions you need to make, you still can't just let go, right? You're still feeling the need to get something done. So you're never fully stopping physically or mentally. You're just constantly rushing or moving from task to task, never taking a break, never stopping, never letting your body and mind just kind of reset so that you can actually physically and mentally recover. You just don't give yourself that downtime because you're constantly chasing that feeling of completion. And that feeling just, it never comes, right? Because there's always something else that's going to need to get done. You're always going to find something else that you can do. So even when the working day is over, you're just not able to switch off mentally. The next one is perfectionism. And perfectionism comes from a place of, I need to get everything perfect and I need to look perfect so that nobody can judge or criticize me. So nothing you do ever feels good enough. And because of that, tasks or things that you're trying to get done are gonna take 10 times longer than they need to. And because you're searching for that perfectionism, you're training your brain to hate the process of doing any type of a job or a task because it's now so stressful to get done. You are constantly looking for your flaws, your mistakes, things that you may have missed or overlooked. You're constantly looking for things that people could dislike, disagree, or criticize with. And then the last one that can contribute to your overwhelm and feeling of burnout is people pleasing. I find this is, this is a big one. When people are constantly trying to please other people, you basically can't say no. You're having a hard time setting or maintaining any type of boundaries around either your personal life or your work life. You'll be, you'll, you'll constantly take on more work even though you don't want to. You're constantly violating your own boundaries, sometimes your values and even your principles and sometimes even your sense of self-respect. And it's not because you don't care. It's not because you don't want to put other people first, but because you're trying to avoid sometimes your own fears of being judged, criticized, or disliked, you'll constantly take on more things to do, right? So you're gonna please other people that are asking you to do more things so that you don't have the time to just sit with yourself and with your thoughts and with your feelings because that can be extremely uncomfortable. Just to do a quick little recap, some of the five habits or behaviors that can be contributing to your sense of feeling overwhelmed and burnt out is that need to constantly prove yourself, that human doing, being a completion addict, being a perfectionist, and being a people pleaser. And it might be all five of these things. It might be a combination of some of them. It might be just one of them that is standing out to you. But the biggest thing is that all of these behaviors and habits are completely under your control. The sense of being overwhelmed, those feelings, the feeling of being burnt out is something that you can take back control of, that you can take ownership of by setting those boundaries, by not worrying about what other people may say or think of a new project that you're trying to put out there. Um, 
and being able to set those boundaries and being able to say no and not feel bad about it. I want to say it's that simple, but it's, it's really, it's really not like it, it takes time and it takes, it takes work. But when you're able to get to the source of the problem in terms of your sense of burnout and sense of overwhelm, and you kind of expose these blind spots and false beliefs that I just chatted about, you can start to rewire your subconscious view of yourself and start to establish some better foundations for real self-worth and start becoming more aligned with your true sense of identity and what feels truly on purpose for you. Because once that starts to happen, that feeling or sense of burnout starts to become less and less. So we want to set appropriate boundaries, however that might look for you. We want to start saying no to other people and to added workload without guilt. We want to not be so worried about being perfect in our, in our work so that we're able to get more done in less time with less stress because we're not so worried about how it might get viewed or criticized. You want to start giving yourself more time to recharge by setting those boundaries and saying no and not feeling bad about it. We want to start feeling a more sense of calmness and confidence and assertiveness. And sometimes when we start respecting ourselves more, then other people will start respecting us a little bit more. So what I want you to think of doing is to start backing yourself up, putting yourself out there without the concern of what others might think or how they might react. I want you to start discovering joy in your work and relationships again and having better energy both mentally and physically by addressing these five habits and behaviors that we have just sort of taken on through our conditioning growing up from childhood, adolescence, and into adulthood. There really isn't a huge secret to overcoming burnout. Really the secret is just to become the absolute best version of you. So if there's any other habits or behaviors that you think I may have missed, let me know. You have gone through different experiences than I have and so you may have come up with different ways of adapting and navigating stressful situations um, or stressful people or stressful relationships or stressful jobs and careers. Let's chat about it. Let me know. Leave me a comment. Send me a direct message. I love interacting with as many people as possible. I love having conversations. That's when new ideas get sparked and that's when growth can happen. So thank you for listening to another solo cast and I hope you enjoyed this little life bite and I will catch you in the next episode. Thanks everybody for listening today and we truly appreciate you and let us know what your biggest takeaway was today and if you have any questions you want answered on the podcast. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast to automatically receive your episodes and to help us reach more listeners. We would love to connect with you on our socials, either Facebook or Instagram, with links in the show notes. Till next time, keep taking those small steps towards your best life.